Hey guys, Scott here, and I wanted to kind of go over faith builds in Dark Souls 3, and you know, I I always see questions like, why haven't you ever done a faith build? You know, of all these videos, I've yet to see like a single faith build, and the problem is faith builds are just not good for dueling. Um, I've tested extensively, I've asked people who have also tested it extensively, they're just not meant for dueling. Now, faith builds for invasions and things like that, and co-op is actually really good. They have plenty of good support spells, uh, the healers are great, force is great for knocking people off ledges and stuff. That's a whole different story, but as you guys know, this is a dueling-focused channel, so I'm going to talk about its effects on dueling. So, that's why you don't really see faith builds in duels, because they're just not meant for it. They're just not good at it. And um, I will pretty much show you why, and it's not like uh, it's not because like a skill cap thing. It's not like oh, I just don't know how to use it properly. There's only so many things you can do. Faith builds basically boil down to you using a sunlight talisman and using the poise cast to basically trade with people, and hopefully you'll hit a lightning spear or a lightning stake on them as it. And then it basically boils down to you you just using your backup weapon that does way less damage because it's lightning infused. So all faith builds just they kind of devolve into just using a, a, like a quality build, except it does shittier damage because it's lightning infused. And at that point, it's just like, what's the point anymore? You're not even, you're not using faith spells. All you're doing is doing lightning damage instead of physical damage. That's it's not really a faith build anymore, you know. And people say like, oh, I've had a faith build too. It's you know, it's got 16 faith, and I cast like replenishment or something. That's not a faith build either. That's a quality build, and you've got one spell on top of it. So. This is about, you know, the actual faith builds, trying to use sunlight spears, lightning stakes, things like that, and how they are just not, they're just not good for duels. Um, so let's take a look at what exactly I mean and show you examples so I'm not just talking out my ass here. So first off, the most basic all-encompassing thing is that lightning damage is one of the worst types of damage you can inflict with weapons. And the reason for that is, for some weird reason, endurance scales your flat defense of lightning. And considering most people are going to have 30 to 40 endurance, that means everyone is just taking 30 to 40 less damage from lightning compared to like, you know, dark or magic or something like that. So just inherently, people have more resistance to lightning attacks. So when you're using, you know, if you were to compare like a dark longsword compared to a lightning longsword, even if they had the exact same AR, on average, the lightning longsword is going to do about 30 less damage overall, which is pretty significant. Uh, when you think about, you know, going from like 220 to like 190 damage, that's pretty significant. So just right off the bat, lightning is probably, uh, along with fire, are, are the two weakest types of damage you can inflict because of how based uh, actual flat defenses work in the game. Next, assuming you actually hit with a miracle, which is probably going to be the next topic we're going to talk about, the actual damage that the very limited roster of offensive miracles actually does is just really underwhelming. Like, the average high-end damage I do with the Sunlight Spear is around 750, but let's look at what I actually need to do to get that damage. So, first I need the Ring of the Sun's Firstborn, and then I need Morn's Ring, then I need 60 Faith because of how scaling works from 40 to 60 in this game, and I also need to use the Sunlight Talisman, which has a lower spell buff because the Hyper Armor is the only real way you're going to hit a melee Sunlight Spear. Also, because of how the spell works in this game, you need to be literally touching the opponent to get the full damage. You know, anything further than just melee range does comparatively pitiful damage. Next, I need Sage Ring plus 2 in order to have a somewhat decent animation speed, and this leaves me with only one ring slot that doesn't involve helping this one spell. And then even with the Sage Ring and all of that, the highest cast speed I can have, all of this stuff, a Sunlight Spear is still slower than the standard Ultra Great Sword swing. Not only that, the Ultra Great Sword costs no FP to swing, has the same hyper armor as the Talisman weapon art, does the exact same or more damage, costs roughly the same amount of stamina to do a combo, and doesn't require that the opponent be within kissing distance to do full damage. Also, it requires no rings instead of three rings. You have to put so much more effort into doing something that ultimately yields the exact same result with zero investment. It makes no sense why they do so little damage. It's really a lot in it's attributed to the fact that they do no range damage at all, which means you need to put all of this focus into heading melee attacks with your spells, which doesn't make any sense. It should have been, you know, like Dark Souls 1 and 2 where you can actually do damage from further away. But as it stands right now, you have to be touching the guy to do even close damage to just a regular Ultra Great Sword Swing. Bottom line, the actual damage that Miracles do, even Lightning Snake, Lightning Storm, all of that, is just really, really bad. And remember, when I say bad, I mean like, the amount that you put into it is not the amount that you get back out of it. That's really all I'm saying. The amount that you put into it is not, it's not equal to the amount that you get back. So there's an uneven trade there that is, you know... Melee, it goes very favorably. You get 40 strength, 40 dex, you're great. Everything you do will do a shit ton of damage. 
This you put more into to do the same or less damage. And it just, you know, that that's that's what I mean when I say bad. So, so honestly, the worst thing about miracles, though, is not the damage or the amount that you have to put into it to even do somewhat comparable melee damage. It's the fact that you can't actually hit people with them reliably. And it's due to a number of factors. One, the first thing is you can't free aim miracles, like, whatsoever. You can free aim emit force a little bit to do, like, 150 damage. That's about it. But once you're locked into a lightning spear animation, as soon as that starts, that's it. You you can only go in that direction. So the only like the only thing you can do to actually hit people with lightning spears is to do the hyper armor weapon art trade. That's it. That's the only way you can do it. No one is going to get hit by a lightning spear just standing still. They can literally just slow edge walk to the left or to the right while doing a wave gesture. Because once they see the direction you're facing, they can adjust accordingly and you can't adjust anymore. So it's it's you can't hit people from far away. And that leaves you with only one option, which is trading. And that means you have to use the Sunlight Talisman. So my point is, it's pigeonholing you into, like, you, you, like you lose all creativity. Now all you've got left is a build that's using 60 Faith, all the rings, and you've got a Sunlight Talisman. And then the only thing you actually get to choose is, like, your other weapon. Like, your backup weapon that you're going to end up using mostly anyway. Because you're still having trouble actually hitting people with spells. And that's, that's like, a, a fun issue. Like, I don't want to have to just abandon my spells and then just use my backup weapon as my primary means of damage. And that's what you'll have to do against anybody, even not even like top tier, anyone just slightly above average is going to know to just not roll into your spells like that. Everyone has seen the hyper armor thing by now. It's been almost half a year. People know what to expect when they see the yellow glow. And all you have to do when you see that is swing once and roll away. I mean, hell, I can swing twice and roll away. You have so much time to just not trade with the people that are trying to, you know, actually hit you with these spells. So all you have to do is just not trade. Just swing once and roll away. It's like it boggles my mind when people say they have trouble with the Perseverance, you know, with like Cestus and stuff. Because you just swing once and roll away. It's all you got to do. It's the easiest thing in the world. And I don't get how people can think, oh, the Cestus combo is OP. Just, just swing once. Swing once with your weapon and roll backwards. It is impossible for you to lose that trade then. There's no way they can do anything. It's the same exact thing with Miracles. You swing once, even if they're starting up the Lightning Spear, you can swing once and just run behind them. You don't even have to, like, roll away. And now if they're doing Lightning Sake, you obviously want to roll backwards because that's in an AoE around them. But if they're doing, like, a Sunlight Spear, you can just run left or right. You can literally just swing and just run and backstab them. You can, they're, like, they're, there's no way to reliably hit people with Miracles whatsoever. Now... And I've heard people suggest, like, oh, well, you can do, like, a sunlight spear into a lightning stake bait or something. Okay, but that's it. That's the only thing you got. And anyone, you know, like, a, a lab rat is going to get classically conditioned to go, okay, after he casts sunlight spear, I'm not going to roll into him again because he might do a lightning stake. And then you got three or four of those and you're out of Estus and then they can just charge you. So, yeah, I, I really don't get how people actually get hit by miracles. And this is coming from someone who's, like, you're, I'm editing a video where everyone is getting hit by my miracles. So, I don't get it. This is not, like, even high skill. Oh, my God, I'm so much better than you. Oh, only I can dodge miracles. Like, I, like, the only way I could see you getting hit by this shit is if you've never played the game. Or, like, you're really new to PvP. And if you are, obviously, this doesn't apply to you. It's, you know, everything's gonna be OP as shit. That's, that's just Dark Souls. You gotta learn it first. But, I mean, to people that have seen this more than once... It seems like you're just, you're never actually going to hit them. Now, don't get me wrong. People make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes in this game. It definitely happens. But the thing is, the thing that determines whether something is good or not, really, is the ratio between how good it is at punishing mistakes and how little it relies on mistakes to actually do damage. Now, miracles, they rely solely on mistakes to do damage. That's it. You can't just stand still and chuck a spear at somebody. It's just not going to work. So the only way you actually do damage with it is by other people screwing up and attacking multiple times in the hyper armor. And that's it. That's like, that's your whole build. It's just, it's just that. It's baiting people into lightning stakes and throwing spears and stuff. You I mean, you can have other backup weapons and things like that, but then you end up using the backup weapons more than your actual spells. And the bottom line is there's just, the miracles are too slow and not damaging enough for, you know, what they are and what they do. There needs to be more, I think, creative miracles or miracles need more damage or more cast speed or need to be, be able to be chained with attacks or something like that. They need some type of melee enhancement to make them actually better and, you know, more usable and just more fun to use because 
The only miracle build right now is Sunlight Spear into Lightning Stake with Hyper Armor and a backup weapon. That's it. That's that's the only build. I've never, in a thousand hours of this game, I've not seen a single build other than that. I've seen people use, like, you know, the, the you know, what's it called? Something, Prisms of Light? What's it called? I don't even know. It's so shitty, no one uses it. I've seen people use that. I've seen people use Wrath of the Gods in duels. I have time to, like, complete a sit-down gesture and, like, clap by the time it actually goes off. So... Those aren't, that you can't use those. Really, all you got are, like, the three spells. You got Lightning Stake, Lightning Spear, and, like, maybe Lightning Storm occasionally if they're dumb and just stand still. But there's just not enough offensively for Miracles to be good in duels. And remember, this is duels, not invasions. Invasions, you can force people off cliffs, you can heal allies, you can buff allies against, you know, NPCs. All that shit's great. This is just about duels. And for duels, that's basically why I don't use uh, Faith Build or why I've never done one, because... It's just, it's, you might as well just watch an Ultra Great Sword video. It's the same thing, except with lightning effects instead. It's the same exact concept. So, I don't know. It's the same concept with less damage, and it's just not as, it's just not fun. I don't know. I don't get, in, I don't get enjoyment out of going, oh, I hit him with a yellow light instead of a sword. It's like, there's no difference. The number is the same. The, the speed is the same. It's just the same exact thing. So, I don't know. I just don't like, overall, I don't like the play style that relies on the opponent screwing up. I like, you know, I like punishing my mistakes, but I don't want my playstyle to only rely on that entirely. Um, and that's basically what miracles are. Um, I would invite you to prove me wrong. Please do. Please, I would love for someone to kill me with, like, Sunlight Spears and shit. That would be awesome. But it's been a thousand hours and no one's done it yet. Players better than me have tried. Definitely better than me have tried. There's just not much you can do with it. So please, please prove me wrong. In the comments, if you want to have a couple of friendly duels, please try to prove me wrong. I would love to have someone beat me with this shit, because then it means I was wrong, and there's actually more depth to miracles than I thought, but it uh, doesn't seem like it's so far, so we'll see. But that is it for my rants. I just really want more shit to do in this game, and the fact that faith builds are just, like, nixed out kind of sucks, so... Hopefully the DLC will bring some changes that'll fix these things, but uh, that is it for now, guys. Take it easy, and have a good one.